How's it going again, everybody? This has got to transform them all. I've got to say the next three uh, of the, of the next three pack arts for this Astralian's pack battle. Uh, this is the Suian Samurai artworks. Uh, already opened up the Sidui and Typhlosion ones. Now we are onto Samurai with the two Origin form guys up last. And we've had some really good pulls so far. I'm excited to see how this one fares. I do, I will say there's a definite first and second, uh, but they're both on like the higher end of like first and like first and second. Like there hasn't been anything bad so far. So just fingers crossed. Uh, I know as far as the tins went, Samurai kind of let me down, but I'm hoping maybe this time we can get something really cool. Because again, Hisuian Samurai was my starter for Arceus. So pulling a little more for this guy to have some good pulls. Fingers crossed. It can come true. Uh, but in the background today, though, we have Sharkcon and Bulbasaur, as always. And then continuing this little series, uh, I have some other figure I also collect. This is Lord Zed from the Power Rangers toy line, uh, after Hasbro took it over from the literal first wave of releases. Uh, which I will say, I do 100% believe Hasbro's completely dropped the ball with how they've handled the Power Rangers toy line. Just really bizarre, like, like paint apps or like, like paint apps, uh, was it accessories, re-releases with like proper things after the fact, uh, lack of, lack of monsters really, uh, which is something like I, I was, I'm more interested in, I want to see some more of the monsters, uh, we did get Pudgy Pig, and I do have that. I just decided Lord Zed was more perfect for this. Uh, there's definitely some other monsters like the Psycho Rangers. Uh, we did get those, but they released two of them individually. And then now, to date, the other three were, in, were only available in a five-pack with the other two they had already released separately. And that's just like, why, why are you screwing us over like that? <laughs> Come on. I don't want to buy two, like... A five pack that has two of the figures I already have. Come on, uh, but yeah, a lot of the time for some of what they're making, they're hitting it out of the park, and I think Lord Zed here was a definite, like smash it. Uh, but yeah, I do wish they handled it a little differently in some places. Like I'm specifically calling out their Psycho Ranger handling. Just I still haven't picked up that five pack because I I. Maybe that's eventually they'll release them separately. Maybe. Because <laughs> I already have two of them. Because they released the two separately first. And then released the five pack with the other three. So there's a code. Pause and take it if you want it. Hopefully get something good from it on the online game. Uh, but next, our pack. He has a Ralts, Nicket, Togepi, Chatter. Magnemite, Temple of Sinnoh, Wait and See Turbo, and Roxanne Reverse. Nicket, that is a common 103. Gotta go back to the reverse list here. 103 is a duplicate, so not a new one there. Uh, the rare. Weird Ear. Our first hollow pull out of these packs. I do believe it's one I have. Well, where were you be? 69? Yeah, that is one I have already, but still a nice hollow pull. One of the new Hisuian Pokemon. Next pack. And we have Origin Palkia. Four and two because of the card I do not name. We have a Pedalo, Nicket, a Bobdas, Cyndaquil, Hisuian Quillfish, Dartrix, Driftblim, and Ursaring. Reverse. Wait and see, Turbo, Uncommon Trainer, one I do believe I have. Yep, not one I have, uh, sorry, not one I'm missing, so it is a duplicate. The Rare. 
cleaver, non-hollow. Keep seeing the non-hollow, but I do still need the hollow. Final pack. Again, Hisuian Samurott, if you didn't read the title or hear anything I've said to this point. <laughs> and we have Samurott on the inside. I'll give out that final code for this opening. There you go. Four and two. And we have a Pontiard doing a ballerina jump, I guess. <laughs> Hisuian Growlithe. If off das Cyndaquil, Hisui and Quillfish, Yamega, Kranidos, and Canceling Cologne Reverse. Mighty Anna. That's a familiar pull. Uh, that is another rare reverse holo, though, so we'll count it as something. The actual rare. Hisui and Typhlosion. So a nice, uh, another holo pull. I think is another one I have, though. Yeah, I go, I, I'm missing the V-Star. That's kind of it for, like, the first three Hisuian Typhlosion cards. Uh, I have this and the regular V. Uh, but it is a nice, uh, uh, it's a nice additional hollow pole. Unfortunately, I do think that kind of puts this one in last place. And that isn't to say this wasn't necessarily a bad opening. Uh, but considering what was in the first two, we definitely kind of struck out with like getting anything here. Uh, but our pulls for this opening was a rare reverse hollow of Mightyena, and then two hollow pulls of Hisuian Typhlosion and Weird Ear. Again, definitely not a bad opening. Two hollows out of three packs is fantastic. Uh, but well, considering what was in the first two blisters, kind of unfortunate we didn't get anything here. Uh, but that's fine though. Uh, that is it for this opening, though. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying the series so far. Stay tuned for tomorrow's uh, Origin Dialga pack arts. Or no, I'm sorry, Palkia is next. Looking at the back there. So Palkia is going to be next. And I can't wait to show you guys the thing I have for the background tomorrow. I, I, I have one way to describe it. And I can't describe it until I show you. So stay tuned for that. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.